Good evening. I'm David Quillen with the Kingsport Police Department. Welcome to this edition of Kingsport's Most Wanted. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for making a difference. With your help, we have been able to capture 10 of the individuals that we have featured on this show. So let's get busy and see if we can add to that number. The first individual is Shamarcus Mason. On August 15, 2008, Mason was involved in a shooting incident at Lee Apartments. Mason and another adult male become involved in a heated altercation which resulted in both parties firing rounds at one another at close range. Mason wounded the other male in the gunfight. There was also a 12-year-old uninvolved bystander that received two gunshot wounds to her hip and right leg. Mason and the other party involved were both arrested shortly after the shooting incident. Mason was charged with attempted first-degree murder, a convicted felon in possession of a firearm, and possession of over half a gram of cocaine for resale within a thousand feet of a school. He subsequently made bond and has failed to show up for his scheduled court appearances. Mason is described as being a 30-year-old black male. He is 5 foot 10 and 275 pounds. He has brown eyes and black hair. He utilizes at least three known aliases, Shamarcus LaQuest Moreland, Shamarcus Moreland, and Shamarcus Johnson. He has tattoos on his abdomen, back, chest, right arm, right hand, right shoulder, and right forearm. Mason claims, claims to be a gang-affiliated member he has previous attempted murder charges in Knoxville in 1998 and numerous charges of a felon in possession of a handgun. Mason should be considered armed and dangerous. Anyone with information about Mason's whereabouts are asked to call Detective Corporal Frank Light with the Kingsport Police Department at 229-9429. The Kmart robbery on July 20th, 2008 at around 5.30 a.m., two black males entered the Kmart on East Stone Drive armed with handguns. Employees were held at gunpoint and the suspects demanded cash. The store manager complied with their demands and the suspects fled the store. The suspects attempted to conceal their identity with sunglasses and hats. One of the suspects also wore a wig. The first suspect is described as a black male, six foot tall, weighing 180 pounds, and having a stocky build. The second suspect is described as a black male, around 5 foot 10, weighing about 180 pounds. The Kingsport Police Department is still following leads in this case. Any, anyone with information related to this incident should contact Detective David Cole at 229-9429. The next individual is Nathan Bledsoe. On September 1, 2008, Bledsoe was involved in an altercation on Dorothy Street in the Cloud area. The incident began with a verbal confrontation between Bledsoe and the victim's wife. As the confrontation intensified, the victim came out to intervene on his wife's behalf. Bledsoe and the victim ended up in a physical confrontation in the roadway. After the fight was over, the victim realized he had been stabbed and he was transported to the hospital for medical treatment. Examination revealed that he had been stabbed a total of six times, four to his back, one to his upper left arm, and one at the top of the shoulder. Bledsoe fled the area before officers arrived on scene. A warrant was obtained the following day charging Bledsoe with aggravated assault. Bledsoe has yet to be located. He is known to frequent the Hawkins County area. Bledsoe is described as a 20-year-old white male. He has tattoos on his upper arm, chest, and neck. He's approximately six foot tall and has short brown hair and brown eyes. Anyone with any information about Bledsoe's whereabouts is asked to call Detective Chris Tencher, the Kingsport Police Department, at 229-9429. The last incident is the Valero robbery. On August 24, 2008, shortly before midnight, two men wearing bandanas over their face entered the Valero on West Stone Drive in the Allendale area. Both individuals were carrying handguns. The clerk attempted to flee, but struck in the back of the head by one of the suspects. The suspect pushed her behind the counter and forced her to open the cash register drawer. The clerk complied and the suspects fled the store with the money. The first suspect was described as a white male, six foot two, 170 to 180 pounds. The second suspect is described as a black male, five foot 10, weighing approximately 165 pounds. 
The Kingsport Police Department is in the process of following up on several leads in this case. Anyone with any information is asked to call Detective Corporal Frank Lott at 229-9429. That wraps up this edition of King Sports Most Wanted. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you see any of these individuals or you have any information that may help us find those individuals, any information that will lead to their arrest, please call the numbers that are located on the screen. We'll see you next time. All suspects on this show are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Do not attempt to apprehend the suspects on your own. Instead, please contact the Kingsport Police Department at 423-229-9429. You can remain anonymous.